Everyone, this is three questions with Matt Makovich and Phil Janazewski. That's right. Yeah. Hey, we got some uh, we got some guys from the Chicagoland area, and just having a great conversation with them before, and I'm really excited to have them both on the podcast. But they're they're also Bear fans. Stop bears. Stop bears. <laughs> I love. It. I'm a big Bears fan. I loved Jim McMahon, The Fridge, Walter Payton. That's uh, that's my time. So it's awesome to have you both. It was awesome to sit down and chat with you. Uh, kind of hearing about your experiences both. Uh, being in education, actually speaking to. So uh, we're going to do three questions, but since we got two of you, I'm going to go to you first, Matt. Uh, talking, just talking to you guys and, you know, all the inspiring things you do with kids. Uh, when you look back at your educational career, who was a teacher that inspired you and why? For sure, George, one that stands out. His name is Mr. Jurassic from Nazareth Academy. Social studies teacher came in during his first year. I have never seen a teacher who was more comfortable confident and felt so good in his own skin quirky personality incredible delivery taught me that it is cool to just kind of be who you are mm-hmm. and you didn't have to put on a front you didn't have to dress a certain way did that you being you is more than enough so mr Jurassic, thank you so much for that where where is he today he is at uh, lagrange park illinois at nazareth academy is he still teaching I want to say yes, or else he's now a uh, division head for the department, All which right. I'm not surprised of. He made his way up. You guys ready for this? He's going to get a little shout out, Horn. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, and I think I think that's one of the things I appreciate. You know, great teachers. You know, they. I, I think some of the things we we all kind of we speak for a living as part of our uh, work that we do. I used to get in trouble for talking all the time, right, from certain teachers, and I feel, felt the teachers that actually tried to mold me into something that they thought I should be uh, were the were sometimes where I had like my, the most issues. But the teachers that you know try to bring out the best in me, right, and understood who I was and said like, hey, how do we develop this? How do we use like his talking for good versus evil? Uh, we're the teachers that I, you know, really appreciate it. So I love that. So Phil, um, administrators, now you can talk about one that you had as an educator. You can talk about one that you had as a student. So like when you look at admin, who's an administrator that inspired you and why? Yeah, hands down, being in high school, a gentleman who changed my life, had a guidance. His name was Mr. Lee Harsey. And I remember just getting to know him and he was super supportive in some of the leadership roles I played as a high school student. I remember I wanted to go to culinary school majority of my life. Started cooking in restaurants nonstop, 15, 16, 17 years old. Uh, And he helped me make some really big decisions, realizing it really wasn't a career, but more of a passion and a side hobby for Mm -hmm. me. And then kind of helped me mold into what do I want to do next? And I really found my calling as a teacher. And he was one of the integral players in that. And I think because he took the time to get to know me, uh, he took the time to see my strengths and weaknesses in that. He kind of helped me sound all that out. So super in debt to the gentleman changed my life, but just a huge, great role model, cool, calm figure. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in where I am today, partly because of all he did for me. So it's interesting that when you say, like, you know, he saw you, he recognized your strengths and stuff like that. But this was uh, an administrator that you had when you were a student, correct? Correct. So when you say those things, like, isn't that what we look for in good admin? as teachers too. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. I think they, admin wants to see the whole picture, right? They want to see, know their students. They want to know their, their coworkers and educators and that. And the more we can know each other and connect with each other, I think the more we can play off their strengths and support them in their weaknesses, hands down. Yeah. And like, I, like when I look at some of the best administrators that I had uh, as a teacher and uh, you know, even as a central office, they, they knew certain things about me. I remember actually having a, um, a conversation where I was offered a job to be an administrator somewhere that would actually move me away, uh, would have been a long commute. And I said like, Hey, there's something that there's things that I do that, um, that I do in my life. Like I was actually, I know this is weird. I was a principal, but I was also teaching spin class in the morning. I know that's a weird thing. Uh, okay. and, but it actually made me much easier to deal with during the day. Cause I like yelled at adults in the morning. Right. I was like pushing them. And then by the time I got to school, I was like super calm. And I'm like, Hey, if I like now can't do that, cause I have to drive 90 minutes, it's not going to make me as effective and it's not going to make me who I am. And the person said, you know, I, I actually understand that's a huge part of your life and it's part of what makes you do a good job. So like, 
if we take that away from you, I don't think you're going to be as effective as principal. Whereas, like, worry, like, hey, if I turn this down, I'm never going to get a shot again. But they appreciated that about me. They knew who I was. And so I think that uh, was a really important aspect for me. So I, I appreciate that because I think, as you, like, as you said, it's a really important thing uh, to, to know, not only of our students, but, like, we, we don't recognize it enough for teachers as well, how we tap into that. So it, it was Lee Harsey, is that what you said? Yes, sir. Lee Harsey, shout out. All right. Strangely so, enough, that Lee Harsey ended up helping being one of the professors for Matt when he got his uh, master's in guidance. So little did I know that that gentleman that changed my life helped Matt out as well. We didn't even know each other. Really? That's that's pretty cool. Okay. All right. So um, both of you are still teaching to this day. Both of you are also um, speaking and connecting with people all over the world. And it's great. We're, we're going to talk more about that in, uh, in the other podcast. But when you, I'll start with you, Matt, when you look back at your teaching career, I'm sure there's things that you, like, like if we don't look back a little bit embarrassed of our first years, we're probably not that good right now, right? <laughs> like all of us. And I'm not saying you weren't good then, but we, we should grow. So Matt, if you look back on your career and you could talk to yourself in your first year, what advice would you give you? Oh man, that's a good one. Advice to my first year in education. Uh, I would have to say to not take myself too seriously at the time. I feel coming in out of college, um, I was just in the mindset that you couldn't make mistakes right. or you couldn't be human and voice if you had questions and questions were a sign of weakness. That was never pushed on me, that, but that was just kind of instilled in my mind. So that would be one thing where um, looking back, I wish I would have been more comfortable asking questions and mm-hmm. maybe opening up a little bit more to some of my coworkers if I had questions. And how about you, Phil? What, what advice would you give to yourself? I think not to talk so darn loud. I just talk so loud. And uh, I hurt my throat over the years, and I don't know why. I just <laughs> like, are, you talk talking to, are you talking to students? Yeah, just anyone. I just, like, shout, but they're right next to me. So stop talking so loud. You're freaking people out. Isn't that like, a, isn't that like from Anchorman where he, he talks loud at certain points where he gets nervous? Is that maybe what you're doing? Loud noise is. Yes, <laughs> totally. Something like that, yeah. Like I, th- I think too, you know, kind of working on, you know, both of your advice, kind of connecting the two. I think maybe that not taking yourself so seriously, maybe you're like, hey, like maybe I got to like assert myself as the expert in the classroom and maybe some of my credibility will be questioned if I don't kind of like totally. have the pursuit, right? But I, I think that, you know, if you connect with students... You build those relationships, right? Yeah. That's that's what's gonna you know make a difference. So, uh, Phil, exactly. Phil, and Matt, it was awesome to have you on the podcast, and uh, I'm looking forward to talking to you more. Uh, but thanks again for joining Three Questions, and everyone, thanks for taking the time to listen. Woo! All right, have a good day, everybody.